Are you an SBase system administrator? If so, here's how to track SBase server events and stream the audit records to an external database. You can track session activity, application and cube events, exports and imports, backups, uploads, data load jobs, role assignments, and more. To enable security auditing for the SBase server, you must be a system administrator and you will need to access the domain configuration path. Go to the sbase config path and find the sbase.cfg configuration file. Open the file for editing and add audit trail security. After you save the configuration, restart sbase. Find the default policy file that has been created upon restart. It is in the same location as the configuration file you just edited. Take a look at the audit sync section. The default sync type is CSV. CSV audit sync means that the audit records are saved to a comma-separated data file on the server. Let's change it so that the records stream to an Oracle database instead. We will come back to edit this policy file shortly. Log in to the SBase web interface and ensure that a global connection is established to the Oracle database. Our connection is named Oracle PDB. Go back to the audit policy file and open it for editing. Change the audit sync type from CSV to database. Add a DB connection name parameter to the audit sync. For the value, enter the global connection name. Save the file. Now that you are finished configuring the SBase server for auditing, let's see if the records are streaming to the database as expected. In the SBase web interface, create an application. Application creation is one of the auditable events. Log in to the external database using SQL Developer or your tool of choice. Run a query to check that SBase created the audit table. Now that you've confirmed that the audit log is streaming to the database, you can use a data visualization tool to view and analyze the records. You can use SmartView, Oracle Data Desktop, open source visualization tools, or other database vendor tools.